G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags. So first things first, a little bit of an update. At the end of the last episode, we received orders to head into the North Atlantic and sink a Soviet fleet that was hunting transport ships. Well, I did that. I located the fleet, I sunk it, I did take one torpedo impact from an aerial drop torpedo, returned to Holy Lock and got a repair and realised when I got back that I had accidentally stopped the recording halfway through the engagement, so I don't have a recording of the battle. Oops. So anyways, we've completed that mission and we've moved on to the next one. We've actually been given a free patrol. We have no designated targets this time, it is just hunt down and kill anything that is red. So I'm looking primarily for submarines at the moment and we have just found one. So, I hope you enjoy. Okay, let's drop our speed to four knots, which is minimum speed that we can be at and deploy the total ray. Alright. Total ray deployed. Let's see if we can pick Sierra back up four. We engage with torpedoes in this one. There it is. I guess right. Now, I was looking for the uh, the left-hand turn, once again trying to get into the Sierra's baffles. Yep, we're picking up, 77. Slow time acceleration off here in a second. Yep, there she is, yeah, and we're almost directly in her ass. Beautiful. God, it's a good looking sub too. Alright, so I'm gonna go active torps on this one. Maintain depth. I'm gonna prep all three. Now for direction, right hand side, we're gonna look for a left hand launch. Hopefully we will cover our transient with our own submarine. Maybe. Get away. Two, three, turn ahead. Gotta peel it out, and then we want to get it. Go more this way for a start. See if we can get the torpedo into Sierra's baffles. Now, what's, what's her depth? Depth is a match, so that's fine. So far, actually this is looking like a better attack than the November. We can hear her much better here. Let's turn active off. It's going to leave the torpedo to activate from here. Dive it to a matching depth. And Sierra is currently unaware of the fact that there is a torpedo coming up behind her. And until she hears the torpedo that's in her baffles that she shouldn't be able to hear, but it's already too late. The torpedo is locked on. The counterfire is done. Get off the countermeasure. Get off the countermeasure. Right. So 
I gotta keep an eye out here because it did get one torpedo away and I don't know if it went across the vector for the torpedo or if it was going towards the vector for me. Quite possibly could be either. I'm gonna pull the toad array at this point and I'm actually gonna make a hard right. Hopefully... That's a concern because there's a torpedo there. Maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I just want to head straight south for the moment. did not kill her. That did not kill her. No, keep it retracted. All right, Peter is now active. We need to die faster, much, 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 much faster. Twenty. Hopefully, we won't break the wire here. Should have launched two torps against the Sierra. I messed that up. There's a big difference between... Oh, God, that was close. All right, silent. Yeah, depth, uh, yeah, bottom, bottom, 1,192, less than 50 feet beneath, beneath, uh, beneath the keel. There is a difference between those two things, but we managed to pull it up without burying the nose in the bottom. So back to four, and hopefully now we'll be deep enough that... This torpedo shouldn't detect us, and we haven't lost the wire yet here. So hopefully... Keep a look at Sierra. She's still managing to tick along. safe from the torpedo at least it looks like Sierra however may be about to bottom out I think she's losing the battle to a flooding she is heading to the bottom and she's heading there faster than I was yeah she's sinking I don't know whether or not She'll survive the impact. She's 
It's most certainly not going to survive my torpedo. It's floating on the bottom. But only just. So we'll drop your depth. God, fire control, weapon acquired. There we go, torpedo has acquired. Uh, she is cavitating, she's giving it everything she's got right now. Still below 20 knots maximum speed. She almost seems to be getting it off the bottom. Almost. And that's all she wrote. here Denmark in your hands Russians what's the packing claim victory all right so Russia is in Denmark now some of those aren't written particularly clearly all right so the best bet I think if we take out this sub tender fleet up here All right, our speed, zero knots. Why is it clear at zero? I think that might be a bug in the mod. We shouldn't be at zero. We should be at five knots of the speed that I just approached in at. All right, very weak surface duct, 284. We're gonna close 15. Depth, 150 feet. And go straight to... Con, sonar, new con. Ring shift for ultra quiet. Should have actually loaded up that tube first. Alright, so Sierra 1. On sonar, new contact bearing 288, Sierra 3. 150 feet, so we'll deploy the tow to rain so we can get a better look at these guys. Sierra 6 is pretty close. And Don? Con sonar, Sierra 6 is classified as merchant. Con sonar, new contact bearing 2 8. God, how many targets are out here? Dubna? Sonar, Sierra 3 is classified as merchant. Kazbek? Oh, they've got a lot of... A lot of transport ships out here. Another Keshin. And it's Keshin as well. So we've got three escorts and three transports and one more unidentified, which is Sierra 2, who I almost missed. Two beam early front. It's possible. No. Check for transports first. No, it's another Kazbek. Alright, that's alright. So three escorts. For four transports. Just need better eyes on them. Well, 
concussion. So 41. Thirty-six. Gonna want active and surface running on all torpedoes. Now, obviously the Cassians are there should be the primary targets here. If we get rid of the anti-submarine warfare ships, we should be able to take care of the uh, the rest pretty much at will. Although they seem to be fairly far out overall. I don't want to spend a little bit of time just travelling on, a little bit of time acceleration with the uh, total ray out to see exactly what we pick up here, because they're heading in our direction. Definitely getting there. That's 70% at this point. We got the Kazbek and the Keshin lined up. So I'm going to do launches. I'm going to launch both of the port side torpedo tubes. So one away and two away. And I'm going to continue these two in the direction that I'm heading. Alright, so, we'll let them get a little bit of distance out. I'm going to hook one back on the Keshin. One torpedo should be enough to take care of the Keshin without too much of an issue. I'll send the second one after the Kazbek. Once the first torpedo is engaged with the Keshin and the Keshin's eyes are on the torpedo, I'll send out our third torpedo and I'll send it for the... Might send it for the second Kazbek since we've got a bit of an update there. are they? 16,000 apiece. They may actually take more than one torpedo, but regardless, those are some yummy, yummy transports. Nearly 35,000 tons between the two. And that's not counting, uh, counting the rest of the fleet. And there's the Cashin. And there's the second Cashin. Alright, so they're closer than Thought. So all right, start turning them in, get them to close the distance. Actually, it might be an idea to launch the third one now and just get it underway. There's still a bit of distance involved here, so. All right, so Torpedo 3 is now away. have been fired. Looks like the Keshin detected one and two first. It was fine by me. Two can go in. Turn one in for the fleet. Let's see how what's the best way to divide these guys up soon. So, one's already acquired on the Keshin, so that'll work. Oh, you are so boned. It's going to hit it right in the bow. Alright, so one of the escorts is now down. Reload torpedo straight away. I want 
both of those Kazbeks because I want the weight out of both of those. The button is slightly lighter, as is the Don. The other two Cashins are not engaging at this point. I can see I'm going to be wishing I had any ship missiles soon enough. Uh, torpedo is ready to go, so we get the next one out and underway. This weight possibly not. It'll possibly need two apiece. But it should immobilize it. Nope, it is enough. Alright, so one Kesbeck down, that's 16,250 tons. Not counting the. Uh... And there we go. That one is. Note 3's picked up the cash and it's coming looking for us. You know what? I'm fine with that. We will trace the, uh, the Kesbeck down with another torpedo. I have another one coming in. start accelerating towards the rest of the group. In fact, it might, it really might be an idea to go after the other Keshe first. We know it's over here, if we can take it out I can run straight after these guys and there's nothing they can do. double that. 14, 17, 16, yeah I can nearly double that. If we don't let these guys get too far away I can get out this entire fleet. But first we've got to get rid of that escort so we don't getting a uh... Okay. What exploded him? slowed right down, so Dubner took a hit there, but that was nothing that I did. Did one of the Cashins drop a torpedo in the water and they just took their own transports? That's the only thing I can think of, but that's ludicrous. There would be no reason for sending a torpedo anywhere near their own fleet at this point. Depth here condition. Where's the bottom? Two eight. We're going to go to five hundred feet, so I can accelerate and start heading into the rest of this. Uh, 
so at 20 knots at the moment we're accelerating with 20 knots I'm going to start heading directly towards the rest of the fleet as it's trying to run hopefully wire 2 will maintain the wire that's all right hopefully it's still in a position now it's active that it'll pick up the Keshin and we'll be fine and for it to change course blind talk away and it's turning towards us yep drop five surface running port side launch range eight five to target tube away active there's no way known that this one's gonna miss now and the cashin is doing 25 knots at the moment so it actually hasn't heard it yet there's the countermeasure okay so do a bit of manual guidance to get it past the countermeasure here is now locked on, so hopefully that will be enough. And torpedo is tracking. That's another one down. Let's reload the tube. And back to 30 knots. We're gonna head for the Don and the Cad's back up here, the Dubna. It's still in a pretty rough way. She looks like she is completely or all but completely immobilized here at the moment. And yeah, she's definitely taken a hit from a torpedo. So she just got talked by her own fleet. She hasn't sunk by the time we're close enough, we'll uh, have to give her a hand getting back to the bottom. Speed is 11, there it is. Alright, torpedoes away. So range to the Kazbek is 7.8. Don's 12-4, so she's the longest run, and the Dubna, the poor little Dubna here, is just having a really bad day. It's only 3.5 kilo yards away, so this torpedo is not going to take long to hit. Put the poor thing out of its misery. And look at this. Okay, I didn't need your help, Russia. Yeah, I'll take it, but I didn't need it. Alright. 
Okay, what the hell just happened with weapon one? What the hell? Just turned away. Don't be doing that. That's two of them down, two left to go. So, Torpedo 3 has acquired the Kazbek and is closing in. Hopefully that'll be enough to take it down. And 2 is almost on the Don. survives. Although well, she should be crippled. Hopefully the Don won't. So another torpedo away as soon as we get this one reloaded. Two has acquired the Don. Gun, fire control, we've lost the wire. Doesn't matter at this point. We can go without the wire. Boom. Alright, that is the Don taken care of. And that just leaves this last torpedo finish off the Kezbek. And yeah, it looks like that first hit has managed to cripple her. Current speed zero knots. Yeah, she's stuck on the surface. She's burning. She's done. She's parked next to an iceberg. I wonder if after I sink her, I'm... I don't know. What are the... Somebody else might know, I don't live, don't live near any ice. What are the survival chances of somebody actually getting onto an iceberg in a situation like that and actually managing to save it out? Is it better to stay in the water or what? Staying on a chunk of ice can't be too healthy for you if you can get onto it at all. Regardless, I don't think survival chances are going to be particularly high here. comes the torpedo. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is that. So 
So with the loose attack submarine and a resupply fleet on the bottom, it is time for us to move on. However, this mission to freely roam about and kick everything's ass is not actually complete. So I'm going to continue trying to hunt submarines where possible, take out surface fleets if they happen to get in the way, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care.